Hey everybody, welcome back to see Elise. Today you're gonna see Elise clean. We just got back from a gymnastics Valentine's Day party and it was super cute and I'm pretty sure it completely wiped out my daughter. I'm gonna do a power hour clean and see how much I can get done in one hour. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go upstairs and start a load of laundry and then I'm gonna see how much I can do in each room in the next hour. So let's get going. I can feel my body cold against the concrete, but I can't seem to get enough. My mind is fixed on what it wants. I just let you beat me. Look can be deceiving. Let you get the best of me. In bed with my worst enemy. This is a no go. I just can take cold. This is a danger zone. Back up and get me home. This is a no go. I just can take cold. This is a danger zone. My daughter left some toys in my shower, so I just gathered them up and brought them to her bathroom. As always for my wiping up, I'm using my e-cloths. I'm using the tub and tile bathroom cloth, and then also the glass and polish cloth. I used the same tub and tile cloth to wipe down the shower tiles and the bathtub. Follow me, let me waste your time. Set up be do some stupid shit. Take a seat. I then sprayed some seventh generation tub and tile cleaner on the tub and let that sit while I clean the toilet bowl, the seventh generation toilet bowl cleaner. Then I went back across the hall into my bathroom to wipe everything down in there. I didn't clean the entire shower thoroughly, but I did just wipe off the shampoo splatters off the glass. We are kings of the world, and tonight is a big one. We are kings of the world, and anywhere it's home we are kings of the world. Then I moved into my closet to put a load of laundry away. We are kings of the world.
This is the loft at the top of the stairs, and then right behind that is the guest room. I asked you guys last time what you thought I should do with this room because we never use it. So the consensus seems to be that you all want me to turn this into a library, sitting area, and an office for me. So I think that's the direction I'm heading. So make sure you're subscribed if you're not already and hit that little bell so you get alerted. I'm going to video the before and after of the decorating process of the loft and the guest room. I'm going to spice up the guest room a little bit and make some changes. So I'll do a whole tour and then I will redecorate those two rooms and I'll show you the finished product. I'm super excited. Also, don't you love my Hobbit feet slippers? After that quick vacuum job in the loft, I headed downstairs to pick up the living room. It just needed some toys picked up. And on that back wall, I'm sure you can see that balloon. That is the squid that we made at the gymnastics Valentine's Day party. And we had just hung it up, so I'm gonna leave it. All I hear is an echo, turn the words of say to ammo. Sleeping on the side of the bed though, weeks of gone can let go. to the next room, the sitting room, which used to be the formal dining room that we never used. And this tiny little space with the chair where you see me putting those post-its away. That's my current office where I make my YouTube videos for you guys. And it's just not working for me anymore. It's a bit too small. So I'm really excited to turn the loft into a usable space. Actually don't have a coat closet in this house and it makes me a little crazy but we do have this hall tree and so that's where we keep all of our scarves hats and mittens I use those little squeezy paper clip things to hold our gloves together so they don't get lost and then I put two collapsible fabric bins inside for the hats and scarves I'm sweating I swapped the laundry, I went down to the kitchen to finish up. My husband actually did a ton of dishes this morning, so all I had to do was unload the dishwasher that he had loaded and ran, and then just wipe the counters. Have this feeling, feeling. haven't felt for so long, took a hold of me and won't let go. I've been sleeping.
Once again, on the kitchen counters, e-cloth, e-cloth, it's the best ever. I haven't found anything that makes my granite shine like that. I've tried Method Daily Granite Cleaner and it left a weird film. I've tried Mrs. Myers and it actually gave me a rash on my hands because I'm allergic to everything. <laughs> so e-cloth is the best for me. However, I do use Mrs. Myers basil soy candle because it's awesome. swept and mopped the entire downstairs yesterday, so I'm just sweeping up the crumbs that I got all over the floor from cooking breakfast. Oh my gosh, I am sweating. <laughs> so that was actually an hour and 15 minutes and my daughter has been in the living room for the past 15 minutes having a snack. So I, while I was doing the kitchen, she was up. So it was an hour and 15 minutes, but man, I think I got a lot done in that power hour. So I feel pretty good, pretty sweaty, but pretty good. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this motivated you to clean your house even if you just have an hour today. I still have some laundry going. So I did get one whole load done. It's in the dryer right now. I put one load away. There's one in the washer and one still needs to go in. So I will slowly work on the laundry today while I'm hanging out with my kiddo and then I will put it all away tonight after she goes to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching this power hour with me. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you liked this quick run through the house. I was running a little bit at some point. So let me know if you want more of these or if you like the more slow, deeper cleaning, cleaning motivation videos. So leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorites are. Maybe I'll just keep doing all of them and give you lots of variety. So I'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.